welcome to this week's Chumming Wong Dong. It's been very hot here the last couple of weeks in the Dojang, so we've been working on our Chung Shin, our balance. Uh, this is a long sequence, I'd say if you're a beginner, start with the first five, and then the, the rest is kind of, uh, sort of more advanced. And again, I would start with just holding each pose for literally just count 10 seconds. I'm actually going to hold it for 30 seconds just to show how difficult it is to hold each balance. The idea is to stand tall in all the poses without wobbling or, or losing your grip. So I'm not, I'm not actually going to talk while I'm doing the exercises because this will fall, uh, cause me to, to uh, lose my balance. Also, I'm going to be turning slightly so you can see the pose in the correct way, but um, if you're doing it, just stay uh, facing in one direction. Okay, so I'm just going to start the, the timer and we'll get started. So first one, just lift your knee to your body as the top. Throughout all these exercises, uh, please keep your body as straight as possible, breathing in regularly and looking forward, concentrating on something. Try and think of someone pulling a string from the top of your head, keeping your spine long. And just try and relax and stay uh, as still as possible. This next stretch, try and keep the knee close to each other. Keep the hips pushed forward and keep the chest open. Hold the bent leg uh, with both hands uh, to make sure you're pulling. This is an excellent quadricep stretch and a good start of balance to see if you can stay still. The next balance pose is an advanced version where you take the leg with the same hand higher and with the other hand you take it forward for balance. The object is not to get the foot as high as possible. If you find it difficult, please stick with the basic uh, back chain position hold for now and you can slowly build towards this. For this next stretch, I am turning to the side so you can see uh, the stretch a little clearer, but don't do this as, as you notice I seriously lose balance. I'm not looking in the direction of my leg and this is always a mistake. So if you notice, as I turn to look at my leg, I now keep balance. Hold the knee as high as possible and with your standing leg try and get the toes turned further back. Mine is okay. but the foot should be turned back more. The next stretch is an excellent way for developing your side kick. Uh, this is the correct starting chain position for a side kick. If you notice my toes are down, heel is up and the hip, knee and heel are all in the same place. So you're pulling in and higher. Again, try and keep balance as you're doing that stretch. So they're the four main uh, stretches to develop some of your kicks. These are some extra poses now that I would say are slightly advanced. Uh, starting at the easiest one, the tree pose. Either have the foot on the upper thigh or lower uh, calf, but never on the knee. And the bent leg should have the knee in line with the leg. And this will help for opening up your adductor for kicks like diagonal kick. I again turn to show you this basic twist. Uh, with this, hold on to the knee with the opposite hand and then as you breathe in, grow tall and as you breathe out, twist. But if you start to lose balance, just ease off on the twist as this will uh, be quite difficult when starting. And as you notice, I lose my balance slightly trying to uh, concentrate with the stretch. In this next stretch I turn, uh, you wouldn't do this, grab the big toe with two fingers and really try and straighten these two legs. If you notice there's an ever so slight bend in my leg and I'm not fully straight. So this stretch takes a lot of time to develop as it's very advanced. Um, but as long as you're trying to go as tall as you can 
and hold on. You can also do this stretch uh, with a belt or a strap to assist you. The same with this advanced twist. Uh, if you found the basic twist difficult, don't attempt this one. But again, you're holding on to the outside edge of the foot and twisting. This really helps to open up the hips and uh, create heat in your body. The significance of lifting the arms up is to encourage the body to grow long. When I first started to do these poses, uh, my, I couldn't straighten my arms up, I found it very difficult. So this is excellent for your shoulders and your back and just keeping your knee in the same place, not letting it um, rise and fall. Just trying to keep in the same place, um, in line with your hip and relax. This next pose is incredibly difficult, sometimes called warrior three. And if you notice my leg is down when I start and as I find my balance, slowly lift my leg. And then an advanced version then is to go from holding your hands in prayer to the hands going forward. But if you notice, as I take my hands forward, I lose balance slightly. So with your hands in, easier to, to hold the pose, hands out, more difficult. So um, if you notice, I adjust my gaze to look down for a better pose. Now here's an advanced version of uh, the knee raise with a straight leg, like a front snap kick. And this one is incredibly hard to hold uh, for 30 seconds at uh, hip height. So again, if you found the knee uh, hold difficult, don't try this one yet. But this is just here to test yourself and to check the stability of your snap kick. Last pose now is called the eagle pose and it's the most difficult. You wrap your right knee over your left leg and if you can, hook the calf with your right toes and then your right arm comes underneath your right left arm and then you either place your hands together like a prayer or interlock the fingers like I have done. And then you sit slowly and then raise your elbows up to keep your back straight so you're not leaning forward. And there we go, just gonna start the timing. So obviously then you repeat all those uh, balances on the other side, uh, but I don't want to do both just because it'll make it an incredibly long video. But again, staying still is important. My advice is to keep your head looking forward. If you notice I lost my balance, uh, sometimes just because I was maybe looking down at the timer uh, or just because I was turning. Uh, so stay very still. It's, a, it's an exercise in stillness. But do your other leg because otherwise uh, you're, you're overcompensate on one side. Thanks. For